Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now we are going to see a process of an enhanced adaptive protocol for secure intrusion reduction system for MANET. In this MANET, uh, basically in a MANET environment, uh, many virtually many nodes are placed in which uh, each node acts as a both a receiver and a transmitter. Um, that's, uh, nodes can communicate directly with each other in the same communication range. Actually, regarding the uh, intrusions uh, detections in MANET, we have to provide, uh, we have to detect some malicious uh, regarding the security, and we have to provide some uh, some extra uh, detection mechanism for identifying the malicious nodes in the in that MANET network. For that, Exin system deals with the acknowledgement basis or uh, two acknowledgement advanced acknowledgement protocol in which it lacks the secured uh, uh, signature generation verifies so in in our process to now to add this concept we adopt a digital signature called a enhanced adaptive acknowledgement protocol in uh, by means of uh, the digital signature we can securely transfer the data and uh, we, we can securely detect the misbehavior detection next we are going to say the process flow First, in the uh, MANET environment, first we have to transfer the packet. For the for uh, every packet transfer, we have to we get the acknowledgement, and uh, the nodes are determined by the packet ID. And uh, if uh, uh, any nodes get collided, it results in packet collision. In order to avoid the collisions and the uh, and the further um, security process, we introduce the secure acknowledgement, in which uh, misbehavior node has been detected by means of uh, uh, introducing the digital signature process uh, which results in misbehavior report detections and at last uh, the packet is delivered or uh, the packet is dest uh, destined with uh, ve by verifying the digital signature at last uh, uh, by verifying the digital signature we uh, achieved the enhanced adaptive protocol and which it results in uh, ca classification of two kinds of the malicious packet and the tester packet. At last, we found uh, tester packet. We send the acknowledgement. Next, we are going to see the demo of the process. For the just run the home dot Java here. Um, the process getting started. Once you get this window, just click this button. And after that, you you have to create the manage environment. Just uh, giving any number of nodes. For example, I am giving 25 here. Just minus nodes are created with the node ID. Now, once the nodes are created, uh, the source node and destination node, the base station will be displayed. Uh, I'm just going to call the intermediate node. Just I am here displaying the, all the intermediate nodes which are uh, between the, the source and destination. After that, uh, equivalent distance is calculated here. Once the equivalent distance is calculated, its uh, values are uh, uh, displayed with the source node portions also viewed. Its nodes, what is the equivalent distance, and its neighboring node will be calculated like in this process. Now after that, you have to find the neighbor for each and every node. For example, for, uh, for node 1, you, the uh, neighbor is node 11. Now after that, you just click uh, node 11, just click find neighbor. Now after that, you just click, uh, uh, just go to node 19 and find neighbor. Now after that, you find uh, the node 20 and uh, find neighbor. And after that, you just go 21, find neighbor. And after that, just go to uh, node 22 find neighbor here the destination is reached likewise every uh, neighbors will be calculated in between the, in the 25 nodes and after that, click proceed and just uh, click the routing table the routing table will be displayed from the node 1 to the destination the equalizations are calculated here and just choose the packet here just I am choosing any uh, packet for example I'm, uh, for example I am choosing any packet in text here just I am just showing the contents of the packet and after that apply we are going to apply the digital signature here just click DSA and uh, give apply signature signature file is generated and just give the view button and after that click RSA and RSA here uh, RSA file generator for that we, we applied the uh, digital signature of the two algorithms we have applied and after that uh, we are going to transmit the packet to some other nodes just uh, I'm going to give the transmission button and after once you done this 
we just run the uh, node one dot Java. Once you run the uh, node one dot Java, just give the receive packet file receive. Once you get this, you just give the neighbor node and give transmit. Once you give the transmit, you just run the node two dot Java. You just run the two, node two dot Java. In that, you just give the receive packet. Now after that, uh, once you, the packets are received, you, you have to acknowledge the packet transmission to the node one. So you have to give send acknowledgement. Uh, just go to the node one. Uh, give response time. Here uh, the time is over means here the packets are not received in a timing in a prop uh, in a given timing. So it, it shows the switch to the uh, next process the switch acknowledgement mode. Uh, and after that once you give this uh, after that uh, here we have to move on to the second acknowledgement process for that we have to um, run the sac source.java once you run the sac source.java uh, here uh, two nodes are uh, displayed that like a uh, consecutive node we have divided the secure acknowledgement process into two one the secure acknowledgement node one and the secure acknowledgement here the second node two the uh, two consecutive nodes are considered in this process and after that give the uh, select the packet again here so we have to uh, t uh, we are we are going to going through the secure acknowledgement process show likewise that uh, false uh, acknowledgement here also we have to apply the mm, next we have we are here uh, generating the digital signature here this just choose the dsa algorithm apply digital signature and give uh, view key now after that it just give the rsa process and apply digital signature here view key and after that you just click the move to time period button uh, and after that you just click the destination button uh, we will use this process and later and after that you just run node un un underscore own dot java uh, we just run this uh, button and after that um, you just in the time period evolution form I am just going to calculate the timing the time is done and after that I uh, am just going to give the transmit button and after that I am going to receive the packet in the newly node 1 receive packet just file received uh, and after that you just give the neighbor node and give transmit now after that uh, you just run the node 2 here you just run the node 2 dot java here I am uh, transmitting I am giving the I have given the transmit request from the node 1 I am just receiving the packet from the node 2 file received uh, once you get the uh, packet you just have to give the acknowledgement to the node 1 so it send acknowledgement in the node 1 give uh, the response time here uh, acknowledgement is uh, received in a uh, within the time frame within the given time frame okay now after that once you get get the acknowledgement uh, I just uh, go move on to the node 2 I just give the neighbor find the neighbor node after that give transmit here once you give the transmission uh, process You have to uh, run the node three dot Java. You just give the receive packet here. Once the file is received, uh, you, you have to give the acknowledgement to the uh, node two. So just uh, send the acknowledgement uh, here in the node two. I have received the acknowledgement. It has sent here uh, also uh, the acknowledgement received within the proper time frame uh, once the uh, consecutive three nodes are executed i'm just going to uh, send the report to the uh, misbegin report detector just give the give send report and just i'm going to uh, in the misbegin report detection i'm just uh, uh, give uh, get the got the report from the report from the consecutive group one and the response time once you uh, get the response here the uh, in the first consecutive nodes are found uh, the packets are missing uh, in this first uh, three consecutive nodes because uh, the uh, the response time is zero so the packets are uh, acknowledged 
beyond the time limit so uh, the it, it shows that the packets are missing once you're done with the first consecutive process we will just move on to the second consecutive uh, node process that is a uh, uh, node 21 22 and the destination so for that i'm just running the node frame node flow dot java uh, so before running this frame i'll just uh, uh, give the transmit button in the time period evaluation frame and after that uh, just uh, uh, once you give the transmit you just give the receive packet here and after that uh, once you got the packet uh, you have to find the neighbor here and give transmit once you give the transmit you have to run the notify.java just run the notify.java uh, after running the frame you just give the receive packet here once you get the packet here you have to uh, give the acknowledgement uh, to the node 4 so just I'm just uh, sending the acknowledgement to node 4 here I am uh, give the response time uh, here the data sent and, uh, and the acknowledgement is going to uh, is received uh, within the time frame once you've done this uh, you have to send acknowledgement to the uh, respective uh, frame so so that I'm just going to give the send acknowledgement uh, process I'm just giving the calculator in the neighbor node and I am just giving the transmit process once you uh, give the transmit process uh, I'm just uh, running um, I'm just going to run the destination frame I'm just I'm just running the destination frame here I'm just giving the receive packet here and uh, here I, I'm going to verify the digital signature just to choose the DSA and give verify and after that uh, it acknowledged came with a true packet so verific uh, it is verified successfully and, uh, and uh, we are going to verify it by using RSA it is also so true so uh, uh, in the second constituent the packets are verified by using the digital signature and it verified successfully I'm just uh, going to send the acknowledgement from this uh, uh, destination to the node 5 here I am giving the response time yes I am getting the acknowledgement data sent successfully and after that I am just going to send the uh, acknowledgement received so I am just going to send the report to uh, the time the other uh, to the M to the MRA process so I am just going to get the report from the consecutive group 2 and just giving the response time here once the acknowledgement is get get response successfully here uh, the response time here uh, the uh, transaction is successful because uh, the packets all the packets in the second consecutive nodes are verified by using the digital signature once you verify it by using the digital signature I am just going to uh, give this send uh, I am just going to give the uh, main speaker report reduction to the uh, speaker report reduction to uh, the uh, the last verifying process checking MRA checking uh, MRA misbegin report direction once you get the misbegin it's it found it a good node um, so by uh, by means of verifying the digital signature process we we get we got the results correct we we verify the malicious uh, activity direction so once you uh, uh, by means of all through the process we achieved an uh, an uh, effective misbehavior IDS intrusion direction system by means of having enhanced adaptive protocol uh, in the name of the digital signature at last you get the execution graph like uh, here uh, you just see the uh, execution time of using the digital signature of both RSA and DSA DSA has the lesser key length so it has a minimal execution time co when comparing to RSA RSA has 1024 bits where the DSA has uh, um, for uh, 256 bits in key line for executing the digital signature and verification so uh, by means of uh, in our future approach we have to use the DSA process in order to have the uh, less network overhead thank you for watching